Hey guys, it's Adam's Garage 88. I've got a very special thing right here. We have partnered up with Street Glow and Lighting. We're going to show you some of the stuff that they offer here. Plus, later on in the show, we're going to put some of this on a brand ambassador, ambassador's vehicle that he has that he brought up for us to do. So, let me show you a little bit of what he has. We have wheel light kits, underbody kits, and fender light kits for the off-road vehicle. So, let's start off with the wheel light kits. Now you have a simple remote. It's also Bluetooth controlled. So you can just simply turn it on. You can have any type of function. You have auto function where it'll go through different little features that it has. And then you can do manual where it just changes the modes. You can speed it up, slow it down. You know, flip through it just like you would do in a regular light kit. Only this one's a color changing kit. I really like this kit. I mean, you have it in different options. He sells it in 14 inches, 15 and a half, and 17 inch light kits. They also offer, this is a single row. They have double rows and quad rows and the same type of features. So I think it's really cool. It's uh, pretty neat for me. But like I said, you have a remote control here. You can do static functions as well. Change it to individual colors and just leave it set like that. Bluetooth controlled as well as a RF remote. So you can turn it on and off with an RF remote without pulling out your phone. The underbody kit here, now that one is Wi-Fi controlled with a module right here. You have it already set up on your phone. Wi-Fi option, you just simply turn it on and off right here with a push of a button on your phone. You can go to individual functions right here. You have a mono function, that's what they call a meteor type where it just simply chases through itself. You can speed that up, slow it down. You can change the color of it. Really simple to use. You have waving. You have a static function where it just stays on the one color. You have a catch up and you have a flow. Now you can also go to the auto functions where it is simply just go through all the little functions that it has by just pushing over. Now it goes up to, I believe, 100, yes, 180 functions on this. So you have a lot of options here to deal with. You can simply go through all of them by just pushing over, or you can scroll around. So if you like a certain number, let's say we'll put it on 90, you can simply turn it up and it'll, or slow it down and it'll do exactly what you want to do. Now you do have an option of turning down the brightness, which I don't really see the point of that because you always want it bright. However, it is really nice, easy to use. You have all the stuff you need here. You have all the extension cables, which are nine feet. So you have plenty of room to tuck those wires in anywhere you need to put them. It comes with a wiring harness to hook up to the remote. <clears throat> Has its own built-in relay, fuse tap, everything you need, including an on-off button for right there so you don't have to worry about logging in and turning it off this way. So you could leave it running and just turn this off and turn it back on and it'll come right back to the functions you were last. Really easy to use, simple. Now, the rock light kit, which is a fender light kit as well, you can put it up in the fenders or underneath the body of any type of off-road vehicle or a lifted vehicle if you want to. It also has a remote, just like the wheel light kit. With an RF controller, you can turn it on and off by a push of a button it also has a manual control here, so you can flip it on and off as well, and it'll go back to whatever mode you had last, just like everything else. Now this is pretty cool. You have demo mode. It'll go through all the functions. You have to where you can simply just turn it on the modes, go through each mode. Really cool. I like it. The same as the wheel light kit, just in the fender light kit, it has static functions where it'll stay on one color. It's really easy to use. It comes with 3M backing tape, stickers, the hardware, zip ties. It has extension cables to go in between the two wheels so that it'll reach all the way there. Everything you see here, it, it all comes with it. So we're gonna install the underbody kit on the uh, brand ambassador car. I just heard him pull up. So let's get him in the garage and get to it. All right, guys, the brand ambassador car is here. Just showed up. We got it up on a jack stands here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the wheels off and then we're going to get everything cleaned up so that we can get the 3M tape to adhere. 
from there, you'll be able to see the step-by-step -step process. So let's get to it. Try to keep it in this area where your pitch weld is so that it stays nice and protected because that's going to be your most protected point on the vehicle. It's the highest point up, so if you do have any spots where you, you run low and you hit something, it'll still be protected. And it'll also be protected from when you jack the car up, you don't have to worry about it getting pitched as well. So it's really easy. Just got to, it may be difficult for me with gloves on, but. Just gotta peel off the uh, 3M adhesive backing plate here. It's really easy to do once you get the tape off, get it started. It's always the fun part. Get it started, and you should just adhere it right to it. Now the connections themselves, you just want to make sure you tuck them up into the body, make sure they're out of the way. Sometimes you're going to have to take off some of the clips here and just make sure it's tucked up in. We'll take care of that in a few minutes, pulling these clips off, pulling this out of the way, getting the connection we put up inside here and putting the uh, extension harness to go all around to the other side. So follow me to the next side. All right, guys, now we're on the back of the vehicle. Same thing. Just need to peel off this tape here. It's always a pain to start it. Just peel the tape off. Now, I have brackets made because there was a little bit of a pain in the butt on the back side here. Not every vehicle is the same. Not all the vehicles have a mounting point on the back. So I had to make some brackets, which is not that big of a deal. It's easy to do. I just made them out of some uh, thin aluminum metal that I had laying around and makes it for an easy mounting point.
I want to make sure that you keep them off the exhaust. Obviously, it's a high heat situation, and they don't do very well when you have heat, direct contact on there. So you want to make sure you have some space in there to keep them off the exhaust. You have to use a couple zip ties to pull them up out of there, but being close to it's fine. But touching it, that's not going to work. So you make sure that you have it off the exhaust. All right, guys. So on the front, there's really not much option on this particular car to adhere it with a 3M tape. So what we're going to do instead is I've already drilled some holes in the perforated plastic right here. So I've drilled a couple holes here so that we can mount this stuff to the body with zip ties. Sometimes you gotta use zip ties, that's why it's provided in the kit. Other times you can use 3M tape. All right, guys, so we're going to put the extensions on, making the extension cables right here. We're going to connect from here to the next one. We're going to ride it through behind the fender well here, behind all the shock tower and all the moving parts. You want to make sure you keep everything away from moving parts. It's very important that you do so, or you're going to find out that this doesn't get wrapped up in there and they're not going to start, they're going to stop working. So make sure you keep it tight up against the body. You know, Keep it up against from moving equipment. If you can find a good spot to do it, then uh, behind the fender well, the inner fender liner, that's a great spot to use. Keeps everything tight and up inside there, and you don't really have to use that many zip ties. But if you don't have that option, on one side of this vehicle, we have to use a different way. It it would uh, you just use zip ties. All right, guys, now it's time for the wiring harness. Now we have just a simple wiring harness right here. We're going to use that to plug into the connect the control module and get supply power to the inside. You want to use the battery here. Now this, this battery here, all you got to do is connect. It's simple connections. You have the negative and the 12 volt. You already got a fuse tap lined up into it. So you don't have to worry about trying to find a fuse tap or anything like that. Everything is ready to go right here. You have everything you need, the relay, the on off button, the power supplies, fuse tap, everything is here ready to go. So we're going to plumb this thing through the car and get it to the inside. I've already got all the connections, the extension cords and put in. So I've got that ready to go. So we're going to put all that inside the vehicle, hook everything at the control module, and then it's ready to go and light up. So let's get to it.
All right, guys, I lost audio at this point. I don't know what happened, but you can see the lights are on and everything. It works great. Shout out to Streak Glow and Lighting. Check it out, streakglowandlighting.com, and go check out his product. Thank you.